In order to achieve greater flight altitude for an aircraft, besides having a suitable aerodynamic layout and a powerful power source, the adaptability of the pilot also needs to be considered. As the flight altitude increases, the temperature and oxygen content decrease sharply. Initially, pilots were equipped with thick cold weather clothing and oxygen masks to solve this problem. However, these devices severely affected the pilots' operations and increased their flight burden. As a result, various countries began to develop pressurized cabins. The German Junkers Ju-49 high-altitude experimental aircraft was designed to explore related technologies. The Ju-49 was not the first aircraft with cabin pressurization technology, but it was Germany's first aircraft of this kind. It was developed in the early 1930s and underwent extensive flight tests before crashing in October 1937. The aircraft was a fully metal cantilever monoplane with corrugated aluminum skin. It was developed specifically for high-altitude flight. The nose of the aircraft was equipped with a Junkers L88A V12 engine, which was actually a combination of two L8 inline six-cylinder engines. It had a two-stage air compressor and cooling equipment, providing 800 horsepower of power and stable operation at high altitudes. The aircraft had a straight leading edge and was equipped with flaps and ailerons on the trailing edge. The flaps were adjustable. The landing gear was a tailwheel configuration, with the main landing gear positioned high to accommodate the large diameter four-blade propeller on the nose and prevent it from contacting the ground. A sled-type tailwheel was installed below the tail. The focus of the experiment was the high-altitude pressurized cabin which looked like an inflatable airbag in the photos. Initially, it was planned to accommodate two crew members for flights at 6,000 meters, but later it could be used at altitudes of tens of thousands of meters. The pressurized cabin was an independent compartment installed inside the fuselage. It did not utilize any fuselage structure as the cabin wall, so it could not directly use the aircraft's canopy and other structures. Instead, it had five circular small windows on the pressurized cabin, two facing forward, two on the sides, and one on the front side. This cabin indeed provided a more comfortable operating environment for the pilots, offering a stable and comfortable environment at high altitudes. However, its problem was poor visibility. Unlike the pressurized cabins we see today, which integrate the front windshield and other components to ensure the crew's visibility, the Ju-49 could not effectively observe the ground during takeoff and landing. It required the use of a set of downward-looking periscope equipment for observation. Only one Ju-49 aircraft was produced, registered as D-2688 civilian aircraft. It was prepared for flight research in 1932, initially without the installation of pressurization equipment, which was later added. By 1935, it was regularly climbing to an altitude of 12,500 meters, operating smoothly without major defects. The pressurized cabin proved to be more suitable for high-altitude flight, and its related achievements were applied to later aircraft such as the Ju-86 bomber, the Ju-49 high-altitude experimental aircraft had an empty weight of 3,590 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 4,250 kilograms. It had a length of 17.21 meters and a wingspan of 28.24 meters. Its maximum flight speed was 220 kilometers per hour and the maximum ceiling was approximately 13,000 meters. The aircraft had a crew of two.